Well, good Wednesday afternoon to y'all. It is I, it's Dan. I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. Lord have mercy, the work's never done. I finna have to pull some feed out my vehicle, feed some animals, water some animals. So I figured I'd take y'all along with me. Just so I can show you what I'm doing over here at my home in the sticks, y'all. So, give me a second, and we're going to jump right into it. All right, y'all, let's see if we can't get these animals fed. Oh, the mercy. Let's see if we can get this feed dumped in. I don't know why they make these things so dang hard to open. Anyways, let's see if we can get it on this side. Uh, you know what? It's muddy. Yeah, we we'll just do it the easy way. Yeah. Let's see if we can get in here and get Pocky some food going. The only thing I gotta do is dump this other feed in this other container. I tell you what, y'all, it is hot as far out here today. It's like really hot. That's alright, because them animals still gotta eat. Another one down. Let's go on. Grab the water hose. And we can get busy. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Well, I see all of y'all. Come on, son. Let's go down here and eat. Uh -huh. Showing your oats today, ain't you? Alright. Happy now? He's like, yes I am. Yes I am. Yeah, let me pet you today. Sure you will. Let's see if we can not get his water trough squared away. Dump this thing out. We can give it a good rinsing. The only problem that I've been having with this water trough is every now and then a squirrel, I don't know if you can hear me, every now and then a squirrel wants to decide to take a drink of water and falls in this water trough and then I got a dead squirrel floating around in this water trough. All right, I think that's gonna be good. And it's going to take probably about 17 minutes to fill this 100 gallon trough up. We'll let that rock and roll like that. And we'll head back this way. Glad uh, I could take y'all along with me when I'm doing these chores that I do every day. Let's see if we can't get these guys squared away. What are y'all doing? Heathens. All right, get these guys some bread. I know they like bread. And while we're here, I can introduce you to this guy right here. Well, her right there. That is Midnight, the Nigerian dwarf pygmy. Get that right. Hmm. She's all right, I tell you. Uh, before anybody asks, I am in the process of getting another. Uh, female goat because goats are a social animal they like to be in pairs I just unfortunately when I got her it was just her I'm gonna get her a friend here pretty soon and I also maybe this weekend I'm not really sure I'm gonna try to get a uh, paddock built for the goats she's a pretty good goat she was a uh, real skittish really skittish at first when I first got her wouldn't let me pet her or anything like that but she's she's come around and then again I spend a lot of time with her pretty much every day when I get home I spend a you know good 45 minutes or an hour out here playing with her and the chicken so and that uh, other goat that I'm looking at it is uh, owned by somebody local that I know 
how to fill up some water containers and get some more branches out here for get out of there go get some more branches out here for midnight to chew on some more leafy leafy branches we about done filling up punky's water trough let's see if we can get these five gallon buckets filled up for the chickens or for the hennies It's an everyday thing, y'all. Messing around with these animals. I love it, though. Lord, it's an everyday thing tending to these guys. Let's get this one filled up. Girls have fresh clean water. And they're getting their eat on. Alright. Well, I'm not following you, I'm just trying to get over here. The only thing I got left to do is reel this hose up. And Lord of mercy, I got to bring some trash to the road, y'all. Tomorrow's trash day. I'm gonna work on that too. Just that easy, y'all. Yeah. Wise investment that was. Wise investment. Right, y'all need to like go back in the pen because I got to go take the trash out. And I don't trust you jokers around my garden. I'm gonna take a head count. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep. All right. Midnight. You know what time it is. You like those, don't you? You're so cute. No more treats. I'm gonna go get you some branches and all on here in a second. But she will not eat anything other than these. This right here. Just snip one off. See that? It's got these little berries on it. So, I don't know. DIY Gardener, if you watch this, maybe you could tell me what kind of tree this is. I don't, I don't know what kind of tree it is, but I prune it back because it gets so wild and just gets everywhere, so I have to prune it back. And What better way to prune it back than to just give it to uh, the goat? I'm fixing to go round up this trash, y'all and go bring it out to the side of the road. So, give me a second. Well, all right, y'all. Just about done for the rest of the day. I'm so glad y'all took a walk with me and came along with me doing these chores that I do pretty much every day. So, I wanted to share that with y'all. Y'all, if you like the video, hey, give it a thumbs up. Really like the thumbs up or the like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, to the Homeless Sticks channel, think about it. So I'm always gonna like to have some new folks come visit me over here at my home in the Sticks so I can share what I'm doing with you and y'all. Really like showing y'all what I do over here. And with that being said, y'all, you know it's coming and you need to stand by it. Don't let nobody dull you shine. And I mean nobody. You get your shine on. And we will see you and y'all in the next video.